Hello. So, guaranteed at least once a month, I have a quick phone call or a, an email from a client and they sound rather panicked and worried because they've been told they have to update their PHP version. PHP sounds so geeky and cody and scary. It does strike fear into most people. So for example, here we can see one of the websites I'm working on. And in particular, here's my dashboard, my WordPress dashboard. And straight away, I see that dreaded red icon there, PHP update recommended. And it will say I'm currently using PHP version 7.2.34. And they actually recommend at least 7.4. So how the heck do we fix this? Now, first of all, PHP runs the background on your host for your website. And just to recap, your host is basically your parking space where you put your website 24 seven. And PHP has a few different jobs to do, but one of the most important ones is speed. It helps things to run smoothly. So before we can go and fix the issue, you need to dig out your hosting login details. I'm gonna open up one of my pages here. And this is a standard control panel, what we call a C panel hosting page for a website. And you can see loads of really geeky things on there most of which you'll never need to use. But in particular, we're looking for the PHP options. Now, rather than go through bit by bit, I'm gonna quickly go to the address bar here or the search bar. Search for PHP. And I can see these four options here. I'm really interested in this purpley icon here with PHP and that's called the multi PHP manager. So if we give that a click, I can see my website, its current PHP version. And over here, I can see all the available PHP versions. So I wanna check in the tick box here. So my domain selected. Go over to the PHP version, scroll down to the latest version at this current time, which January 2022, we're looking at PHP 8. Click apply. Great, the green sign saying that's been applied, everything's good to go. So if I go back to my website dashboard, if I do a quick refresh, fingers crossed, there we go. No more warning sign for PHP. So within two or three minutes, you can go to your host, update the PHP and fix the issue. I hope that helps. Bye.